Welcome everybody to the Ultimax preseason week six. My name is Nightfire with two E's. We're jumping into our second matchup of the afternoon. It is Fist of Steel versus Hydras. Both teams at the high end of the ladder. Fist of Steel ranked number one, coming off of a solid win, going up against ranked four Hydras. So it'll be interesting to see what this battle provides us here. We are just waiting to get into the lobby. And then we will be jumping in to our first round. But uh, yeah, I mean, we did just come off watching Fists of Steel uh, take away a W up against the rank eighth team. So I'm curious to see with a little bit higher rank here coming in from this um, Hydra squad with Jaden Juvie, if that's going to be. If that's going to be a, a good battle here. That we are going to get that invite so they don't start without us because I think it is the first casted game for um, Hydra's squad. First time they'll be on stage. Obviously, uh, Asoria and the Fists of Steel uh, team also relatively unfamiliar with being cast. I think that was their first cast um, of the preseason as well. And so finally getting to some of these top teams and being able to jump into their games and watch. So. Yeah, again, we are just waiting on that invite, and we will be getting in to the lobby here, hopefully soon enough. I think maybe we're just waiting for the teams to get ready, for everyone to get into that lobby before we get our invite. I'm not quite sure, but... There is the invite, so yes, indeed, we hop in to the lobby. We get a look at the active rosters here. And yeah, I think we are still waiting on a maybe the, the uh, second element of the Hydra's team. Certainly wouldn't want to have to go into a 1v2 up against Astoria and OGA. They've been playing very well, especially as of um, earlier this afternoon. So they could be looking at a layup W, if you will, here. It's all just a matter of Again, getting that fifth in, I think, is from Ju. So I do appreciate your patience, as we do. Hopefully, we don't have to wait too long for the fifth to connect here. And again, worst case, they go into a 1v2, but I don't think that's what. Jade is the captain, so that's who we are waiting for to hop on in this lobby, and then we'll get into it, and it does look like we're going to have OGA and Asoria over on the Fists of Steel roster. They do have a third. Not a lot of teams carrying that third on their roster. Smart. Uh, maybe a reason why they're in that number one rank. They've played a lot of games, and you know, they're able to field a team no matter what. They have that extra option case in point right now that may, may be helpful to have a third on the roster um, for that Hydra's team, but we are just waiting uh, for that fifth to connect. Oh, and okay. So Jade has to update... Jade uh, has to update the game, so they should be on their way. but I am getting a report that they didn't have the uh, 1.6 update downloaded. 1.6 coming out relatively recently, right off the announcement of Resolution Games, uh, announcing Blast On as free to play. Uh, you know, it is a relatively fresh update to the game. It comes with a couple of tuning changes and some updates. They're continuing to add content in, and so it's really good to see uh, the attention that they're giving in to Ultimax. But I wonder you know, how that update may potentially impact the game here, and if Jade will be ready for what could be coming up here with Asoria and OGA coming off of a solid win. Uh, again, going up against... Oh, man. I'm buzz. BRML.com. 
slash ultinex. We can see all of the games played here. But is run it back. Thank you. And run it back, putting up a pretty good fight. I mean, honestly, I was impressed with what I saw with them uh, coming in and taking that tie game in round two uh, <clears throat> and, and ultimately not able to weather what was a pretty solid defense coming in from Osoria and OGA. I think that's what really kind of set them up for success in their last match, and it should be what we see here as a strong staple element for Osoria and OGA, but yeah. We are still waiting on Jade to get that update downloaded, installed, and then hopefully logged in soon enough. But, you know, if they can't get that update in, I think, 15 minutes from scheduled start time, which we are eight minutes away from, then they do have to start the match 1v2, or they can forfeit. So, worst case scenario, we don't have another game here this afternoon, but <coughs> we'll see. It's the woes of the preseason. We'll have uh, teams and players coming and going. Have another. Either. Well. There is double Vipers versus Apex Max. I'm going to see if we can jump in. If we can't get this one started, and it is a 1v2. Jade isn't able to get here in time. We may be able to jump into the in-progress game. Second. But do you want to catch something here? <laughs> no matter what it is. But yeah, appreciate you deal uh, hanging out and patiently waiting for the start of the action again. Trying to short out, sort out if I can. into a game here this afternoon and there is two that are live right now double vipers and apex max that's playing right now turbo and arbo over vipers we've caught them playing or apex max something and they seem to be relatively new into the space so double vipers may be looking at a win opportunity there but we'll wait and see if they uh Respond. I think they're probably in their round one round right now. Aren't responding. Hopefully after that we could potentially jump in uh, seeing who has scored around or not. And Either that or we wait for Jade to hopefully get their <laughs> update downloaded, installed, and then we'll get into a game. So one way or another we'll be setting out to provide some sort of ult and X action here in the next few minutes, but we are slightly delayed. So, we appreciate you patiently waiting back at home. It does look like well, maybe we we're having, yeah, we may be getting into match soon. It looks like we made another lobby potentially. Again, sorting out the details. We'll get into the action when we can. Patiently waiting. Or again, Jade to hopefully get that download. The lobby remake. Maybe that will allow Jade to get in. They needed to do that for some reason. To sort out that lobby issue. But <clears throat> yeah, appreciate everyone patiently waiting again. Me rambling on here as I try and get, sort out the tech difficulties. And uh, ho yeah, again, we'll hopefully be in just a few minutes. It's all just a matter of these players 
Making sure they have the right update and the right version. That's that is the reason for the delay. Jade did not have 1.6 downloaded, which is what we're on currently here. What five build? Just a few days. Uh, 1.6 build, just a few days old. If that. So. The cam in here is saying update shouldn't take too long. Worth the wait. And yeah, I don't, I don't think it should take too long either. Like I did get and it does look like we have Jade in lobby, so we will be getting into the action here. No need to jump around. Go ahead and ready up. When everyone is ready on both sides, we'll be jumping in to the action. Ooh, I don't know if they set the right settings. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Sandra Park Knight. I don't think I've ever watched a Sandra Park Knight. There's not much difference. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be. But let's get ready for the action. I think I have it right there. Fist of Steel. Oh, Fist of Steel in blue. Three. Hydras are in orange. Go ahead and swap that. Get ready to dive into the action. Round number one, game one between these two teams as Hydras try and go on the offensive early. Mr. Steel back on the attack and on defense, Jade and Juvie trying to get back and there's the double setup, the attack right away, a goal connecting. For the Fist of Steel squad in blue, they've got a 1-0 lead. And a nice joust win. Right up in this, in through the center, goal floating around. No, no two opportunity connected there. Back over into Hydra's zone, Fist of Steel Put together some good attacks so far. You can see the relentless pursuit there for the goal, and it goes just a touch wide. Bouncing back over to Asoria. A nice pass there. Juvie trying to gain possession. Jade on the back end just misses there as Asoria continues to apply pressure. The side shot from OGA. The cross didn't quite connect. A nice effort, though. And now there's the good push up to the center. Again, good defense. That's what been the staple of this Fist of Steel squad. It's how they won their last game earlier today. But Juvie and Jay, let's see if they can get through this wall. They're going to need a point on the board here, but the attack is coming. Pursuit is coming. There's some good denial on the defensive side there. Into the corner, the cross comes through. There's the snipe effort, and it goes just a touch wide. A little bit of a cross wires. Both uh, the boost and the snipe coming in at the same time. It almost looks like it knocked the ball out of the teammate's snipe and ooh, ooh a dangerous cross just floating in through the front there's a nice denial Jaden Juby still playing defense OGA tries to push up through the center and it can't battle for possession through the midfield another snipe from Juby going just a touch wide if those can connect it's going to be big for Hydra's team as it around the world here battling for possession as Jade and Juvie have to go back onto the defense. It hasn't been as an aggressive Fist of Steel assault as we've seen in that, in that past game. And as I say, that is set up. Oh, what a beautiful attempt. There it is, putting for the center. No, denied again. Jade and Juvie playing some solid defense. The assault coming in from Fist of Steel, but not connecting. And as they try and get up onto the center here, they can't. Juvie, another miss snipe. What a chance here to push forward. Now midfield float. Have to go back onto the defense, trying to connect here, getting it back over the center of the cross. No, floats up high and wide over into the corner. Dayton Juvie back on defense. That's a dangerous float, but a great denial. Juvie shutting down what could have been a cross with a nice knock straight onto the ball there. Oh, and a blast. Off the backboard, back and forth, floating into the sky here. Doesn't go in either goal. 
corner we go, battling for possession into the midfield. Uncontested here. Now cross up over to the center. No. Dave and Judy together here, advancing forward. Maybe a chance for an attack. It's been a while since they've been in the zone of Fists of Steel, but they've been doing great on defense. It's been a relentless assault from Fist, but they've held them off. Big dangerous cross, long, long range, Fist connect. No, a denial, a push out. It looked like it. Oh, wow, they had the goal animation come in, but it gets pushed back. And Dayton Juvi, who dangerous cross, 30 seconds left. Push down into the front, into the zone, into the attack, cross to the center. No, can't quite get that there. Juvi's not over on the other side of the arena to capitalize. Continuous denials here. Good job from this Hydra's team, proving they're the ranked four squad for a reason here. You know, I think they've had a couple of forfeit wins. They're still taking the W's that they have fought. Floating here, no more points. It's up in the air. Extra time, extra time. Over into the zone. Can they keep it up? No. Juvie and Jade, the, the boost there, shutting it down and pushing it to the floor. What a series. To kick things off here, Fists of Steel are going to take the first round, but only by a point. Exciting back and forth, to say the least. I'll have to see how round two shakes out. Rep, get ready for it. Love to see the battles here. I see that Ebro in chat saying, Fists of Steel, EU will be dominant, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, is this another EU NA up? Yeah, it is. So, Fist of Steel definitely uh, coming out here trying to brew something. Am I streaming your match tomorrow? I've got two games tomorrow, if you are in one of those games that I've signed up for, then streaming it. <clears throat> We're going back into the action here for round number two of this series. There we go. And the kickoff. Right away. Same sides. Fist of Steel and Blue. Hydra's in Orange. Juvie and Jade looking to connect to some early points here. Oh, I see we swapped the date time now. Can't, can't tell the difference. Whoa. Ball floating in front of the goal for a long time there. An opportunity. To say the least, but here it is. And again, a two. No, denied. Almost in. Almost there. Juvie and Jay nearly had that goal back on defense, pushing it out. Nice job there. Good denial. Battle for possession back and forth here. Ball goes in with a nice shot coming in from uh, uh, Azoria there, the snipe. Making it in there for the first point in round two. Fist of Steel taking the lead again. Defense from Jade trying to get this one in and set up over into the zone of Fists of Steel. Jade and Juvie trying to knock this up as it floats up into the high space, but there's a good fist back and a huge shot coming through. Got to go back on defense. Here comes the ball. Down goes Jade. Sitting there, nicely set up. In the corner pocket. Another good defensive attack there as Asoria uh, and OGA are trying to get this one in. Here comes the attack from Jade up through the center, trying to keep the pressure on. There's a great pull clear, and look at Juvi on the backfield, ready to prevent this. It's just a good back and forth, and we're really seeing good, solid defenses from both sides. Fists of Steel really putting on a good clinic, a good uh, display of how to deny that ball from floating into your zone. Juvi and Jade now are trying to do the same on defense here. There's a push down. Asoria's there to at least knock it off its initial trajectory up to the center. But here's an opportunity for a goal, and they can't quite get things set up. They don't have the boost. They don't have the snipes coming in quite yet. But the ball floating in front of the zone is the longest it's been in front of Fist of Steels, but they can't quite push through. Jade and Juvia have to drop back. Oh, 
And again, battle for possession here. Knocking back into the zone. A fist of steel. B and J, there's a big connect and it goes in for two! They knock it up. The boost up into the goal for two. Looked like it was going in for one there, but a nice shot. Just like that, Hydra has a two-point lead. Minute 14 left. Fist of Steel need to connect, and they're already on the aggressive push forward, but maybe too aggressive. Ball floats back into their zone. Jade and Juvie feeling good after a nice lead here in a limited time. Oh, and another big shot. Just to the left of the corner there. A big shot, a long range. Attack coming through there. Still, though, this pursuit coming in from... Fists of Steel, they haven't lost a round today. But Juvie sets up for their second goal. Three points on the board. Hydra is looking to take this round. Guaranteeing ourselves at least four this afternoon, which is certainly something I could be excited for. More Ultimex for us on the channel. A two ties things up though, so it's not out of the works yet. OGA and Astoria still very much can put this thing back into contention. Tie this thing back up. Take us to overtime. There's the two shot. Goes a touch wide. Another shot to the side of the goal. Just barely missing. Astoria and OGA continue to apply the pressure. Another two. That goes just a touch high. Continuing here. Floating in front of the zone. A relentless assault. Is it enough? Another boost. The ball goes wide. Floats in front of the two. No, doesn't go in. And could it be? It is. Round number two into the hands of Hydras. We're into a tie series this afternoon, folks. Quick look at the scoreboard as we now dive in to a series here. Saves, watching the one save coming in from Juvie. Not sure how it tracks saves. Either way, round two in the books. Ready up for round three. We'll take the lead here. Who will go to series points? Impressive to see so far. This performance from Hydras and really a great battle between these two teams. Solid defensive work, good efforts on the clears up through the center, nice attempts on the crosses with that one goal in particular. The two coming in, a big goal, big goal for the uh, Hydras team. And so Yeah, we're just now patiently waiting for both teams to ready up, and we'll be getting in to that round three. No real delay in this series. You know, these teams wanting to go round, around, around. And I guess what's the reason for delay? You want to keep playing the game of Ultimax. I guess that's the beauty of the game, right, is that it is easy to play three rounds and get right back into the action, and we're all tied up, one apiece, ready to go back into the action. Fun series here. Same colors. Hydra in orange. Fist of Steel in blue. Three. Round three kicking off. Still into the zone. Of Hydra's Fist of Steel looking to win that joust. I think it's the first joust I've seen Fist of Steel win. Otherwise, Juvie and Jade have been taken. And that early pressure has been applied by Hydra's. Fist of Steel back onto the defense again, something that they've been putting out a very solid effort on as the cross comes here. Again, good denial, and there's that fist that pushes it all the way down to the zone. Another connect? No, it doesn't come through. Good denial, double boost. Both players trying to push that ball over into the corner, down to the zone. Almost a shot on goal, it doesn't quite connect. OGA setting up for a two and a great denial from Juvie. Fist just coming up underneath the ball and pushing it out of that two. Another opportunity here, more goal. No! Slams into the corner. Another setup opportunity, but nothing. Those dangerous crosses in front of the goal. No risky snipes, boost, anything can push those in. And man, 
What a discontinuous pressure from this Fists of Steel team. That finally results in a two. I mean, that ball being in front of their goal like that is the most dangerous spot the ball can be. No matter where it is in the field, if that ball is in front of the goal, it's the last place that you want it to be. So you'll see teams really prioritizing pushing things into the corner when they're defending like Asoria and OGA do here. Keeping that ball in the corner so that it doesn't ever get a chance for a cross, a boost, to snipe in. And then they hunt for that opportunity to cross it up to the center and boost it in for goals. Right there, the snipe goes just a touch wide. It's moments like that that could have gotten them a 3-0 lead. And they're really applying the pressure here in round three to a different capacity than they were in the previous rounds. They just weren't getting aggressive enough. And now maybe a chance. No, nice job keeping it over the two high enough where it's not going to be able to get knocked in. And it's really, you got you to think about this defensive strategy they're deploying here and how that ball floats differently around the zone. Oh my goodness, a long range two. Followed up with a quick boost for a one. Again, at any range, if that ball is in front of the goal, it is a risk. OGA and Asoria doing a great job of pushing it to the sides, but ultimately an opportunity comes in through there. And I think it's why sometimes we see those center jousts end up with quick goals because it is right in front of the goal. If you win that joust and you're getting an opportunity for a shot, there's a big opportunity here for either team. Oh my goodness, floating into the midfield, but nothing. Connecting in, Juvie and Jade able to weather that storm, pushing it back. Now there's the big boost, the snipe, just a touch high. Quite a series. We find ourselves in here. Three Soria, Jade all competing here in the corner. And again, a nice job from Hydra's keeping this ball in the corner, not allowing the cross. And as I say that, there's the cross pushed back over in the Fist of Steel zone, and right now, Fist of Steel have the lead. They've pushed in a two. One minute left. Oh, almost another one. Good denial. Getting it back into the corner. So Jaden and Juvie need a goal. They need a point on the board. They got one, a nice rebuttal. But since then, they haven't been able to find the cross they're looking for. The opportunity quickly pushed back over to the other corner. Another float here. No snipes, nothing. No boost, nothing, nothing. Ball just floating in the midfield. Danger zone, to say the least. There's the cross. Great shutdown from Jaden Juvie. You can see OGA trying to set up on the other side there to push that one back in the front with a nice corner knock, but they can't find it. Big bounce here. Nothing connecting. OGA and Asoria util uh, using their utility to find a cheeky goal bouncing up and in. Three, two. Nothing fancy about that one. A two-pointer now required for Juvie and Jade. Almost shut out there. That goal nearly goes in. And 15 seconds left. Let's see if they can set themselves up Ten, for an offensive push. Nine, eight, seven, six, Down to the midfield. Almost four, a two. Off the backboard. Three, could push that two, quickly in. One. And now with time down, they got to get this, keep this ball floating up in the air. The other team wants to push it down. Juvie and Jade. Still able to keep it elevated. And there it is, extra time over with. Ball hits ground and Asoria and the Fists of Steel take round number two. Two more shots on goal there, equal saves. And a close series is what we're in for today. Shout out again to you folks that are tuning in and enjoying the action here. We appreciate the support you hit that follow button if you haven't already we're going into potential series point here though with fists of steel looking at one more round to take the victory we'll have to see if they can push it together here defense seems to be the key element for both of these teams they're really doing a good job of, again, keeping that ball in the corner. Three. That Two. pushes into their zone. Let's see how they attack here. Two. The drop. In the round number four of this series. And again, Fist of Steel looking at series point here. Juvie and Jade need two more on the comeback train. Uh-oh, getting a little bit too aggressive. Juvie and Jade misreading the ball. Leaves an open goal and they can't get back in time. OGA finds 
a pretty free two. Excuse me, a one. Uh-oh, here's a two. As I say that, I may have cursed it, but no. Keeping it in the corner now, Jaden Juvie. There's the cross. Big cross. Nothing happening. No big boost yet. Juvie and Jay trying. Shut things down here. Here's a good attack, but quick deny, quick push back. Cross here, OGA looking for an opportunity to bounce that one in at a 90 degree angle, but can't get it. Go back on defense, the ball floats up into the top here. Nice bounce, oh, almost a two set up, but a great shutdown from Juby, knocking that momentum down. Keep that ball up, nope, there's the cross, but OGA is a bit too far forward. Ball goes back behind and quickly drops back to defend. Can't quite find what they're looking for. There's a snipe that goes wide. Good double fist shut down there, but the ball keeps into the zone of Fist of Steel until they're finally knocked back. Jaden Juvie now on the defense. There's the attack. No, bounces just a touch wide. The cross, and it goes in for two. The big shot from Juvie, the snipe. Three. Huge connection puts them in a lead for round two. Round four, excuse me. Another opportunity, another two. No, shut down. That could have been a disastrous start for Fists of Steel on their series point. Work that up. Snipe misses, but Fist connects. Three, two, one thing we're not seeing is any destructions, any, any uh, at uh, attacking, any PvP. It really is just trying to connect with Cross's skills pass work. There's no power plays in effect here this afternoon. Somebody needs a powerful play here as the cross comes in. Big snipe, big push down into the zone. Jade and Juvie. Nothing here to connect. Waiting for that ball, trying to set up. There's the snipe that goes wide. A nice push back. Good defense. And just battling for possession, knocking it back and forth between two both players here. And now the ball really just sitting in the corner. Literally no one touching it. Finally, connection comes in. Pushes down into the zone of Juvie and Jade. They're able to shut that down. Long range fist, no, can't quite connect. Pushes it up over for the cross. Just seeing good, solid defensive work here. There's the push down into the corners. Tries to get it in for one point. That's all they need at this stage. Minute 25 left on the clock. For the cross, there's the bounce, the two, a great angle. Great read. Three, two, OGA putting one in there. Usually it's been a Soria that's found the goals, but OGA here with two on the board for them. Quick offensive push, ball midfield for a long time, but Juvie and Jade quite set up with how they uh, how they wanted to. One minute left. And the pressure is on. One minute left. We'll see who gets possession here. Nice defensive put knock back. Asoria lifting back here on the defense. OGA with a nice boost to shut that down. It was looking like it could have been a good cross. That wasn't going to be denied. Speaking of good crosses, here's one. Oof, in front of the goal for a long time. And Fist of Steel continuing to apply the pressure. Nice push back, Juby and Jade. Being aggressive on the attack here. Cross up through the center. Jade trying to get it over into the side of the front of the goal, but can't. Juby was in the backfield ready for the snipe when that opportunity presented itself, but they couldn't find the angle they needed. Floating into the corner. Back on defense they go. Ten seconds left. They need to put together a play here. They need to get set up. Spur an attack. Another bounce shot attempt. Four, three, two, and they're going to run out of time. Now they have to keep this ball elevated. they got to keep it up. And it goes to the ground, matches over. Fists of Steel take the series three to one. Soria and OGA putting on a solid performance yet again, but a great defensive effort from the likes of Hydra's on Ju with Juvie and Jade there.
fun series to tune into. A shout out to the fine folks that works uh, watching the action here this afternoon. If you haven't already, hit that follow button. We do appreciate all of the follows that come through. We're trying to grow the audience here in this preseason as we get prepped for season one. Also, a reminder that Ultimax will be at VRML Con, which was just announced uh, yesterday. If you didn't hear it, or a few days, or maybe two days ago, if I'm off on my on my days. Uh, but VRML Con is happening June 3rd and 4th. Echo Arena, Ultimax, and Blast On all going to be live on stage. You do not want to miss that action out. Do be sure. You can get tickets if you want. You can head on over to VRML.com slash land tickets and buy tickets right now. Price will go up in January, so you want to get them before then. Um, you can get grandfathered in. We're working on hotel packages and stuff like that for people. Um, so more details to come around the event and what to expect. But just know that Ultimax and Blast On are going to be there. So if that interests you, then do be sure to check that out. It's going to be live at Denver, Colorado at the Colorado Convention Center June 3rd and 4th. Uh, so do be sure to check that out. We'll be talking about that every stream from now on across all of our games uh, as it is going to be a big event that we're really hyped up for uh, and excited to get all these communities together to play uh, the best VR esports games. Outside of that, I don't have anything else. No more games this afternoon, so I do appreciate everyone stopping in on his Ben Night Fire with two E's. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon, 11 and 12 p.m. PST uh, for 11 and 12 a.m. PST for more... Uh, 11 a.m., 12 p.m., whatever. For more games, two matches in the afternoon coming from yours truly live on this channel, so do, do be sure uh, to not miss that. And uh, see Jade in chat. Thank you, Jade, for stopping by. Make sure you're following so you can watch more action you can catch this VOD uh, back on uh, if you haven't already. But, yeah, fun stuff, and we will be live again tomorrow for more Ultimax action, so don't uh, be sure to not miss it. But until then, stay classy.